The question is twofold. One, uh, you mentioned about the Palestine. The two longest outstanding issues with the United Nations Security Council are the occupation in Kashmir and occupation in Palestine, respectively. Well, the Saudi government has done a tremendous job in highlighting the, the occupation of Palestine, especially in more recent years. I think there is a need for highlighting the occupation of Kashmir equally. And the second part of that is that the United States government that has understood both the issues, however, has not sided with the right cause in either case. And what can the OIC do to influence the United States government in that regard? Thank you. You want me to answer first? Thank you very much, sir. Uh, the Kashmir issue, as you say, is uh, as long-standing as the Palestinian issue, going back to the 1940s. And uh, I would admit that there has been uh, a, a negligence on the part of not just Saudi Arabia, but I think the world Muslim community in general uh, in promoting the, uh, the issue of Kashmir and bringing it to the fore to, to reach a just and lasting conclusion to what has been uh, a running sore and wound for Kashmiris first and for the rest of us in, in the Muslim world <coughs> afterwards. I would say that there is a responsibility shared as well by countries like Pakistan and others uh, to, uh, to make this, this issue more talked about and more present in the, uh, in the conscience and, and thinking uh, of people. Uh, so the, uh, the OIC, I know every year passes resolutions, but I don't see that reflected in the, uh, in the public media or public uh, speech, if you like, of, of politicians. <laughs> And uh, I think the responsibility is collective on, on the Muslim community and, uh, and Muslim uh, countries. Uh, whether the OIC can, can convince uh, the United States uh, of uh, issues like uh, Palestine and, and, and Kashmir, alas, I mean, the OIC has been in existence since 1971, and nothing has moved on either of these issues. So I doubt very much that the OIC uh, has the, the wherewithal to, uh, to influence uh, American policy making. Uh, I think uh, Arab and Muslim countries do affect uh, American policy, but on this specific issue, I think we, the Arabs in general, in particular, and Muslims in general, have not been able to overcome the, uh, the allegiance, if you like, and the ties that America has established with Israel. Uh, and uh, so uh, on, on Palestine and statehood for Palestine, as I mentioned in my presentation, we see the United States siding with the position that there should not be a Palestinian state at the United Nations. 